So, Dell, I came across this article the other day, right, on a tribe of capuchin monkeys in the Panama jungle, right? A tribe or a troop? Troop, sorry, a troop of capuchin monkeys in the Panama jungle who... Sorry to be correcting you like a teacher. No, I, just, no. I can never... Is it a tribe or is it a troop? I've always called it a, a tribe, but when you mention it, yeah, yeah. Tr- yeah, kind of troop, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this, anyway, single troop of capuchin monkeys in the Panamanian jungle have entered the Stone Age. They've entered the Stone Age, They've so they're entered using the Stone tools. Age. They're using stone tools to crack open nuts, to pry open nuts as well. Like, it's not just, you know, bash, bash, yeah, bash. Yeah. They're, you know... Prehensile thumbs and the whole yeah, lot. Yeah, they're like, manipulating know, Manipulating, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do capture monkeys look like? Are they the dudes with the white faces? Yes, yeah, th- okay. that's them, yeah, 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 so it is. Yeah, they're like a, yeah, they're a small enough monkey. Small, yeah, size yeah. of a small dog. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. They're the ones, long tails. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long arms, and, yeah. Monkeys, Is the tail monkeys. prehensile? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, they have prehensile tails, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so anyway, right, so they've entered into the into what we know as, you know, from way back when we evolved and, you know, all that stuff, into what we would call Stone Age technology, right? So that absolutely fascinated me when I seen this article. And I thought it was pretty unique, but it's not. It turns out it's actually not unique at all. There's it's four, not unique for them to be manipulating things using stone no, tools. it's not unique in the Primate Kingdom at all. There's four other species that have, over time, evolved the use of... Tilts, stone I, tilts. I know there's, I think it's chimps or some variation on chimps I've seen. And I'm gonna they, get they to that, get yeah. Straw yeah. things and they run them into termite mounds or something. Okay, right. Yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's not kind of where I'm going. Tell me more. Huh. I have no idea more than that. They run these, they, they get long reed like grasses. Yeah, yeah. And they strip off the leaves and they poke them into termite mounds. You know the entrances? Yeah, yeah. And from a termite's point of view, it's an attack. So right. they'll they get their pincers and they hook onto this the end of this reed. Right, that's this attacking grass. its that's mound, attacking yeah. its 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 queen, I suppose. Yeah. And they'll hook onto it, and the monkeys pull them out, or the gibbons or the apes or whatever they are. Yeah. Pull it, pull them out, and they go out with it, and they just it's like running a straw, that's the end of it's covered with a milkshake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running a tree about they do the exact, <laughs> and they just go in for more. Wow. Okay. Cool. So, sorry, go on. Yeah, losing me train there. Oh, sorry, yeah. Now, um, yeah, so, as I said, it's not unique to this one tribe in Panamanian jungle. Although it is in that region, it, it's unique. And it's quite strange that it's, it's unique to that one troop in Panama because they have members of that troop who migrate to other troops at different times, breeding times and things breeding like that. Breeding season, yeah. And yeah. their use of stones, you know, hasn't migrated with them. So that they're literally the only troop that's been observed in this jungle that is are doing that, it. Is that because, well, like did the, the males, I'd say, would go out and get another, did the females go and get... I don't know, I don't know enough so about monkeys to know you, that. Well, do you know who's using the tools? Like, are yeah, the males well, using it? Are the females using it? When or they're they all in, using yeah, it? Yeah, no, when they're in the troop, they're all using it. So they're they all go out it. to breed, yeah. but they don't <laughs> share their secrets. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Little fuckers. <laughs> no, what they reckon what it could be is that it's one or two particularly intelligent monkeys have come up with the idea of using stones to crack open nuts and stuff, and the others are just... To use the term, aping them. Yeah. They're just copying them. So when they go out, they don't That's have... That's learn though, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but it's not being retained, though. That's what I'm saying. So when they're out away from the troop and they're not seeing the clever monkeys doing this, yeah. they forget it. Oh, they, okay. You know, so yeah, it's, it's yeah. literally just copying what they're seeing yeah, you know, yeah. Without actually, which is probably where monkey see, monkey do come. Exactly. From. <laughs> there, there you have it. Or you know, to ape something, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but anyway, so it's in that sense, it's unique to this particular troop in Panama. But across the Prima Kingdom, there's records of chimpanzees using stones to crack open nuts and to you know and various things as far back as four thousand years ago. In, well. Yeah, in the Ivory Coast, right? And this is where it gets really interesting, Dad. Like, this, this made me sit up now and really pay attention. I read this part, right? 
Archaeologists have observed and have found as well within the the archaeological sites. Uh, they have their own archaeological record, this you know, tribe of chimps, troop of chimps. Anyway, yeah, they found that when they're hitting stones off each other, they, they're using it literally as a hammer and an anvil. So it's a stone, yeah, yeah. a nut, and they're hitting it with a stone, yeah. right? Shards of that stone are breaking off, are shearing off into what look almost identical to what archaeologists considered to be early human cutting tilts, right? Yeah, so, so they might Early be, human knives, yeah. yeah? And the monkeys and, and apes and chimps and whatever are just leaving them there. They're not picking them up. There's nothing they want to cut. They haven't discovered cutting yet, but they look identical in many ways to what archaeologists considered were early human cutting tools. So now it's being reevaluated by some paleoanthropologists are now asking the question, were we using cutting tools as far back, you know, as... As they know, said we were. Yeah. Or was it just, you know, more of this, that it was just yeah. shards that broke off when they were using kind of hammer and anvil yeah. stone, you know? So it, it opens that question. Now, there are a little bit later on in, you know, in air fossil record yeah. and stuff that there are, like, you know, clearly manufactured, you know. Yeah. Well, the next quotes. logical step is that shard that's broken off is yeah. obviously going to be sharp. Yes. By nature, shards yeah. are sharp. Yeah. And it's going to be used, it's going to be discovered that a, whether a monkey picks it up and jabs his finger with it yeah. and is like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. going to register if it's that smart monkey, yeah. it's going to register that this is a cutting tool yeah. and use it to yeah, but as I said, chimps have been doing this for 4,000 years and it hasn't dawned on them yet. Well, right? yeah. Because they don't have anything that they want to cut or need to cut. Yeah. They eat nuts. That's it's that fucking chimp over there that you don't like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah well, this is it, you know. Shiver chimp. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, they haven't even picked them up off the ground. They're left. Yeah, but in you know. evolutionary terms, 4,000 years is fucking nothing. Yeah, so no, yeah. At, no. at some stage, yeah. you'd, you'd think they're going to. Yeah, yeah so... What appear to be manufactured sharp cutting tools made from stone date back 3.3 million years right. in human in human history, human yeah. evolution, right? Um, and it's long been seen as a key technological innovation in human evolution, one that's wrapped up in a whole raft of assumptions about early human history. Now we're left to wonder... Are these manufactured cutting tools at all, or are they shards of rock yeah, that broke off when else. we were crushing nuts or whatever? Yeah. So yeah, so it's opened up some really interesting questions. Now, and there's also capuchin monkeys in Brazil's Sierra de Capivara National Park who are three thousand years into their Stone Age, and that is the oldest non-human archaeological site outside of Africa. So there. There's evidence 3,000 years ago that they were actually using stone tools. Yeah. So what are they using now? Still I mean, using, it's still yeah. stone tools. Yeah, like they haven't... But is it a situation where they're not forgetting? At this stage, yeah. they mustn't be... Not, they it's must been passed be, on, yeah. So it's been yeah. passed down generations. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 So they're actually teaching, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you'd wonder when they go out and get a ride somewhere else, do they teach that thing as well? Well, you would hope so, yeah. But that's that's what I'm saying. It's interesting that in in the ones just kind of discovered now in Panama, that they have well, a they've started to you know use the exact same technology as the chimps have been using for four thousand yeah. years. That the other capuchin monkey, same species in Brazil, yeah, as these Panamanian ones have been doing it for three thousand years, but they're doing it in exactly the same way. It's that hammer and anvil idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, we well, just, yeah. So they'd be breaking open an acorn or a Brazil nut or whatever yeah. it is and figure out that it's If you do it on the ground, better, it just sinks into the ground. Much better to do it on stone Yeah. because if you do it on a branch or if you do it on leaves, a bed of leaves or mm. on the ground itself, like you're saying. It that, just embeds itself. Yeah, it yeah. just dissipates the impact of the mm. stone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I know, but like when you say it's so simple as that, though, it makes you wonder why it's taking them this long to work it out. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying, the... The ones in Brazil, the capuchin monkeys in Brazil in the Sierra Capivara National Park, 
it's the oldest non-human archaeological site outside of Africa. So you have your chimps from 4,000 years ago in yeah. Africa, and then you have these guys, right? The site is described in, in nature, ecology, and evolution as its own individual archaeological record, right? So it's the only species outside of, hum of humans who have left an archaeological, not a paleo anthropological. Uh, paleoanthropological record like a fossil record yeah, of dinosaurs yeah. this is actual manufactured stuff that you know that's tools that's you know. evidence of tools yes you wonder how long it's going to be before they figure out that the shard goes yeah. really well when you tie it onto the end of a long stick <laughs> stick and that's when we're yeah. At, you know and that's when planet of the apes planet of the apes yes. you know kind of starts I've you know no, I've, I've never actually watched the full movie of planet of the apes of not the original the sorry not even Charlton has oh uh, no way no. man uh, no. come here it's a fantastic novel it's a really really I've good novel and it's so different to the movie like like the big twist of it, yeah like, I know the Mark Wahlberg one gets absolutely slated. It's a terrible movie. Don't but terrible the movie. twist at the end of that movie is more in line. The Mark Wahlberg one. Is that the first one, second one, or what was it? Uh, that was... Uh, like No, that was a remake. There was, like, Planet of the Apes. It's just called Planet of the Apes. It's, it's not Roy's. It's not the other one. It was a remake in the How early 2000s. Were? Right, there's six of the originals, I'm going to say. Six yeah. originals? yeah. 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 I just thought there was a chant and no, there's Planet of the get Apes. Get your hands off me, you <laughs> damn dirty ape. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. no, there's Planet of the Apes. There is Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, Fucking Beneath hell. the Planet of the Apes, Return to Planet of the Apes. And there, there, there is a sixth one. Now, they got progressively lower and lower budget and as they went worse. on. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, so... But Didn't Charlton Hessen get it on with a pretty ape woman in Planet of the Apes. They had a kiss yeah. or something like that. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah Zira, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing that when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, I come here. The, the originals were great. They were, now, look, Fuck. they get progressively cheesier You know, the only Planet of the Apes thing I liked was the one in The Simpsons. Homer's no. going into outer space. Like, the, the whole thing, NASA is in decline in, in publicity. And they say, you know, we've got to send jo Joe Schlub. <laughs> oh, order. right. Yes, so yes, him yes. And Barney. I do remember. Um, yeah. Compete to be the one to go into space. And then <laughs> Barney fucks it up because he goes back on the booth. It's <laughs> oh, that's right. It's yes, yes. And uh, Homer, when he's doing his press conference after being chosen as the one that's, <laughs> that's gone into space, connects the realization that Earth in Planet of the Apes was Earth in Earth, humans Earth, and they fucked it up, and that's when the, and yeah. it's, it's hilarious. Earth in the future. That's, that's the yeah. only Planet of the Apes. Yes. Really. And if you haven't seen it, go on YouTube and look at it. I will watch hilarious. it. But yeah, but that is essentially it. And that is the Pierre Bill novel. What's the name? Pierre Bill. It was actually written in French originally. Okay. Yeah, but... Um, Should have stayed in French. Yeah. Like, you know the bit, I'm sure you've seen the bit in, even if you haven't seen Planet of the Apes, when he comes back and then he discovers the Statue of Liberty. On the beach? Yeah. yeah I've yeah, been yeah. on that beach. Okay. And I've, there's no Statue of Liberty? No, there, there isn't, no. It's in Lanzarote. Okay. That's where it was filmed, yeah. And all around the, I've probably been the on volcanic beach, landscape. Yeah, you yeah, know all that? Yeah. That's all Planet of the Apes. Yeah, that's all filmed there. But anyway, yeah, so, yeah, that bit with the whole Statue of Liberty thing and all, that's not in the novel. It wasn't done like that at all in the novel. What they did in the Mark Wahlberg one is much closer, right? He arrives back in Washington after escaping the planet of the apes and whatever, yeah? Okay. And he arrives back on, on what he thinks is Earth. And he thinks it's normal. There's cars and everything looks normal. And then he walks up to the, the, the Lincoln Monument and it's an ape sitting on oh, the okay. chair. Yeah, yeah. And he realises, right. oh shit. <laughs> There's actually a, a one in The Simpsons again. Where they do, uh, it's the Broadway play. Oops. <laughs> Planet, <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Apes. Yeah. yeah. Probably a thing. It's fucking, it's brilliant. And uh, the guy who's playing the Charlton Hessen character in The Simpsons or whatever, and maybe it's a, a character caricature of Charlton Hessen. Yeah. They're singing and they have a song. And it's from chimpanzee to chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking deadly. 
But again, you and your Simpsons. If you haven't looked it up, go on. I YouTube. will. It's uh, hilarious. Yeah, no, I really must go back and watch some of the early Simpsons stuff. I haven't watched it in years now. I loved it back in you know I when I was a kid, but I just oh, no, no, we watch it every time. Yeah. Any time there's Fair a cartoon play. on, what? Well, I mean, I animated. I watch a lot of childish <laughs> television. Don't get me wrong. I'm I don't not, watch. I I'm not looking down on you for watching the Simpsons. Ah, yeah, no, I don't want any that. None of that. No, show. but I mean, well, I, you know who was great? Kim Possible. That was a great. Was idea. it? I never oh, watched. Fantastic. It. I never watched one. Right. Never. I don't think I've ever seen Home, but it's a fantastic idea. She's a spy. She's a teenager. She's oh, a spy. right. Yeah, the kids do Kim watch it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a like deadly, Mission Impossible. Yeah. It's brilliant. Not very but good. Yeah, I've never watched the whole. It's but cool. I'll watch any Bugs Bunny, Warner Brothers stuff that's on. Yeah, I Simpsons, love that. Simpsons, Family Guy, South Park. I used to watch Family Guy a lot. And I was, there's, there's South the Park I've started to get back into. What is it? Uh, not Afterlife, because that's Rick Gervais. It's. Yeah, Darwin's been going on about that lately. Final Space was on Netflix and oh. it was bought out by Warner Brothers. Okay. And if you've ever seen Final Space, I'll have to go look brilliant. at that. I'll have to you, go look I don't know where you'll find it because it's nowhere. It's brilliant though. It's I really look good. for but clips yeah, on um, YouTube. What's it going to find some clips of it? Chimpanzees, the cartoons. We got there via The Simpsons. The Simpsons yeah. are responsible for everything. 